हे गाइस दिस इज राकेश तलरेजा एंड आई वेलकम यू टू बाईजूस एग्जाम प्रेप यूट्यूब चैनल यस गाइस ओके इसरो हैज अनाउंस गुड नंबर ऑफ वैकेंसीज नाउ ऑल आर अवेयर अबाउट दैट ओके एंड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन 90 सीट्स आर देयर एंड दैट्स अ रियली गुड नंबर फॉर दिस ब्रांच बट what to prepare where to focus more is this the pattern and the weightage similar to gate of course pattern is not similar to gate what is the pattern already we have covered up in the earlier sessions okay yeah that this time uh, you know this added uh, thing in the pattern that is the general aptitude otherwise earlier it was only the technical area okay so there are the 80 questions from technical area there are the 15 questions from general aptitude but those 80 questions of technical area what is more asked is it very similar to the लेवल और द वेटेज इन गेट और इट इज स्टेप डिफरेंट आई बिलीव इट इज स्लाइटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट एज कम्पेयर टू गेट एंड देर आर एक्स्ट्रा एडेड सब्जेक्ट ऑल्सो ओके अर्लियर यू नो इन दर्स्ट नोटिफिकेशन इस अनाउंस दैट देर विल बी कोर इन द एटी क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो देर विल बी सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट कोर ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एल ईड एरिया ओके बट नाउ दैट हैज बीन रिमूव फॉर डबल ई एंड मैकेनिक सॉरी फॉर ई सी मैकेनिकल एंड कंप्यूटर साइंस द एलाइड एरिया इज स्टिल देयर इन द सिविल एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल बट फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स मैकेनिकल एंड Uh, computer science it has been removed okay so the only 80 questions of technical but you know whether they have removed allied see allied means what the topics related to your branch okay say for example the core could be the gate syllabus and the allied could be the extra syllabus that you study in engineering services right so whether they mentioned allied or not okay what allied subjects actually mean i already covered a video okay although it is now removed but still okay those subjects i'll mention them again okay whether they mention a lead or not but that can be a part of it so i will show you how okay so let's go into the okay i've done a detailed analysis for all of you you are not going to get this in any of the book okay so i've done some little bit homework for you guys that last five papers so i don't say last five years because the last time isro examination was conducted was written examination was conducted was back in january 2020 okay so i don't say last five years the last five papers conducted were isro and what was those papers which year i'll tell you that also to so complete subject wise weightage analysis so that you can get an idea where they focus more some obvious trends can be highlighted from this so let's get started uh, talking about those weightages have a look into this particular slide okay i have bifurcated into two colors the simple reason is this is what are your gate looking subjects the subjects that you prepare with gate okay this is what specially you can put under the core part if there was a core versus a lead area okay now the subjects related to your branch like power electronics okay advanced communication specially satellite communication okay uh, the optical fiber measurements which is electrical but yeah that is related to electronics that is what again in the engineering services also you study separately microwave engineering material science this is what actually could also mean lead area but now let's right now talk about ec there is no core or lead there is only the technical syllabus 80 questions are going to be there and all of these papers were 80 questions paper only okay so there is no change with respect to the number of technical questions i would say 80 questions okay the five papers that i have considered is 2016 2017 two recruitments were announced okay two different uh, that is why i have two different papers so i have called it as paper 1 and paper 2 okay so it's not same paper paper 1 paper 2 uh, 2017 twice the paper was conducted then 2018 and 2019 20 why i have written 19 20 because actually the notification was in 90 but exam hote hote january ho gaya tha exam was occurred in january 2020 okay so there were not two papers in 1920 announcement was done in 19 paper was conducted in jan 2020 so that is why for clarity i have written 1920 right dear okay now let's have a look into the weightage and clearly electromagnetic is taking a slighter edge okay if you look into the 7 12 these are what these are number of questions okay i should have mentioned that but no problem i will mention it right now what are these everything these are number of questions okay all these mentions are the number of questions okay the number of questions these are number of questions theek hai dear okay so you know 7 12 12 12 12 so averaging out 11 okay and i have separated clearly i have separated microwave okay no? now in in some of the places you can find microwave questions because especially they are mixed up with wave guides resonant cavities and etc okay or the magnetron etc questions are coming up so if you club it with electromagnetics then the weightage is definitely for electromagnetics even more but i have bifurcated clearly coming to communication 10 9 5 7 4 so last two three papers i didn't ask much averaging out to be 7 but anyways communication is your core Area, so they can increase up any time. Okay, control system nine nine six five nine, averaging out seven point six. So around, you know, we can expect say eight around questions from control system. Okay, which is a definitely scoring area. Again, coming to the network, also almost similar average coming for network. Right, signals and systems. Okay, again very similar. So these are of course I know for students. 
Okay, these are scoring areas also, especially control, network, signal, digital. These are your scoring areas and digital, if you look, every year, 13, 11, 13, 39, averaging out to be around 12, that means digital, which is one of your very scoring area also, Yeah, except little bit more effort you have to do in the sequential circuit part. Okay, but yes, this is definitely an area which is having a very good frequency, say probably the highest. Okay, say the probably the highest or EMFT and digital can be put into the highest category. Okay. Now, coming to, okay, again, two more core areas, EDC and analog, and again, you should always prepare, inko aap saath mein rakke chalo, okay, and if you keep it together, it will be around 17 to 18 marks of weightage, precisely EDC 8 and approximately 10 for analog electronics, okay, so 10, 7, 11, 8, 12. Moving ahead to the next, the related areas, the allied part, which you can say, or let's put it as total technical area now, okay, so power electronics, yeah, there are sometimes. Okay, but not every time. It is 0, 0 also certain times. 2017 in the second paper, they asked one and to those last paper, they asked two questions from power electronics. So, this clearly gives you a message ki, okay, first focus more and more on the complete core part and some of the parts I will highlight here. Power electronics, if you find time, do it up. Otherwise, one or two questions ke liye power electronics, of course, for EC is going to be a typical subject. Don't have to worry a lot about for these one or two questions. Maths. Electronics may they keep asking, but not much questions around two to three, five questions. Okay, average is 2.6, but around two, four questions you can expect from maths. Of course, for other branches like electrical, civil, they ask maths more number of questions, but this is easy, so less number of questions from mathematics. But still, the complete uh, what they ask is the gates from gate syllabus. And specifically, if I tell you the details, maths, if you have to revise karna hai, focus, I'll tell you more on calculus, algebra, probability. Calculus algebra probability. Probability means with random variables. Okay. These are the more uh, expected topics. Now, from the advanced communication, okay, some topics I have selected. Advanced communication you study as a whole in engineering services, but some topics which are important, satellite communication and optical fiber are actually more important here. Okay. Okay. So, you know, look, you're looking into this particular question like 6 to uh, 2018 6. All these six questions were actually satellite. Okay, sometimes satellite, sometimes optical, but this particular 2018 paper, all six questions were satellite. Okay, although there wasn't any of these part in 2020, doesn't mean that it's not going to happen again. So, definitely keep prepared, especially with the, you know, ISRO, so definitely that satellite knowledge they expect. So, keep that into mind. And that is why if I say communication system plus satellite communication, overall that weightage becomes good. So, do prepare satellite communication uh, in a good manner. Okay, you should not skip it up. Measurement again, one or two questions again, I'll suggest for measurement, they go power electronics, so you don't study for ESE also, but measurements, if you have studied for ESE, na, just revise it up. If you have not at all studied measurements, again, depends on time. If you want, you can skip it because for one or two questions, you can't now study a subject de in detail. Okay. So, that decision you have to take. Okay. Microwave engineering. See, although it was 0 and 1 for these two years, but 5, 5, 3, definitely upcoming time also. I say 4 to 5 questions can be expected from microwave engineering. Okay. Now, waveguides can also come under this category and then there can be, you know, especially the questions, I'll tell you two topics, there will be more. Okay. The uh, uh, resonant cavities. Okay. The resonance cavity concept and then uh, the magnetron. Inko achche se kar lena aap. Okay. Then material science sometimes like you know this particular paper 2017 second paper they had four questions of material science again for material science otherwise rest of the years it is zero. So again for material science if you have prepared it for ESE same syllabus just revise it up okay. So, some areas that you can compromise, okay, power electronics because I think EC students have not prepared because that is not in ESC also okay, but measurements and material science if you have studied for ESE okay, do revise it up otherwise you can skip my opinion. Microwave zarur kar lena hai. So, this is a star mark condition, these two. Microwave and specially satellite communication. See, optical fiber, anyways, you have studied with gate. Okay, so that you have to revise. I'm assuming that you have studied at least the gate part. Okay, radar also at least the basic, uh, you know, the block diagram of a radar and the radar range equation you can do. But satellite zarur kar lena. Satellite and microwave engineering, do this from this uh, extra part. Okay, maths, I told you what are more important is algebra, probability distributions and the calculus part. Rest, the complete gate syllabus you have to do. This part is definitely your scoring areas and easy. And it is, of course, an easy also in the ESE also. These are your scoring areas which I have highlighted separately. Okay. So, definitely you have to first of all looking into the weightage also. Work into what? Electromagnetics, communication, EDC and analog. Okay. And out of all this, if I specify the five subjects that you should not miss at any cost. Okay. The top five subjects to focus electromagnetics, digital electronics, all the scoring but weightage is very, very good. Okay. Analog electronics, EDC, 
and communication along with advanced communication especially again i am mentioning the satellite communication part the satellite communication part optical fiber can be included with emt also that, that's not uh, the wherever you place but parle now usko optical fiber may be one question but satellite communication if they ask ra randomly it may be four five six questions also this is what the top five subjects to focus according to me focus more aise nahi ki sirf inhi ko padhna i am telling you to focus but study all okay some things that you can skip if you don't have time i have highlighted those also so i hope this small video gives you the complete crisp of what the weightage was okay you don't get this weightage directly on the google or in the books so i have done some research with uh, the support of uh, our content team of byjus and we have got this uh, presentation ready for you so that you prepare accordingly and your dream of becoming scientist in isro comes to be really true thank you stay safe and do subscribe the channel if you are enjoying it and if you want more such video and do comment and like the video comment out how did you like this particular analysis thank you